Welcome back to the show, everybody. Once again, kicking around the um, Hastings, Minnesota, Little Log House Pioneer Village. And this place has a lot of old Fordson tractors around. I've got a lot of these on camera already. I think we've done a walk around of this custom mod that's been done to a Fordson. This Road Roller Fordson's been on the channel, as well as these half track Fordsons. This one's my favorite with that old cab and the, the snow blade on the front. I think we caught this one here last year. Because of their affordability, they were also used as a power source for self-propelled pieces of equipment. In this case, a portable stone crusher, often used in rock quarries. And we've even caught this weird one-man power grader Fordson mod on the channel before. So many different uses that these tractors saw back in the day. But in here, inside this little shed with the Ford authorized service, station sign on it. I have a really interesting Fordson to show you all. Just the different things they did with these back in the day. The mods that were available for them. This is a later one. It's got the uh, the lower round style air cleaner tank. Don't know if it's a cork Fordson or not. We've got the heavy cast front wheels. Serial number looks like it's a 651 series. So it's a later one, but Look at what they did to this thing. They turned this tractor into a winch unit. Now this was a kit back in the day. Let's see if we can get a read on the tag down here. It was made to go where the belt pulley drive would go on a factory Fords and it says the white heavy duty two speed power takeoff kit. Manufactured by Oklahoma Engineering Foundry Company, Muskegee, Oklahoma. So that piece bolts right in there. It's a two speed PTO and we're chain drive back to custom axle housing. So they took the old, uh, the build out housings off. They cast their own. I believe we've actually got, yep, custom housing on the other side. And here we got another white manufacturing. Oh, the white tractor hoist. Oklahoma Engineering Foundry Company tag on the back. That is so neat though. So the axles would still run inside of these housings to power the wheels but then the winch drums rotated on the outsides of the housing see what I'm saying they turned this whole tractor into a winch it's so neat they would have had to offset this wheel a lot that is a lot longer axle on this side to make clearance for all this it's it's definitely a purpose-built Fordson at this point It'd be pretty tough to take this one back out to the field but um, they've got this one set up in this little house because there's a little uh, gravel pit down there, and this is their winch unit for moving the dirt scoop back and forth. All right, here we are down on the scoop end of it. We've got our pulley back there with the cable. Looks like we've got an open bottom. Oh yeah, got a cutting edge with teeth down there. Here's your kind of your drag bucket. Would go back and forth, pulls all the material right here, feeds the hopper to the conveyor to the gravel plant, and that's where the Fordson is, up in the powerhouse. We were just right up there. So one winch on one side pulls the cable the one way, the winch on the other side pulls it the other way. They toggle direction, I believe, with one of these. I don't remember which one. This one, oh, that could be the directional thing right there. I don't know. Um, it's just such a neat setup, though. You can see you've got there's a drive cog there, would mesh in to drive this drum on this side, and I'm assuming they have, it's probably hidden under here, a similar setup for the winch on the other side, but your ins and your outs. So cool. So many different mods they did to these tractors back in the day. Figured as long as everything was shut down, give you a little walk around, see this? <laughs> They've got it anchored into the ground <laughs> so that it doesn't pull itself off the front with a heavy chain, but such a neat setup. The things they did with these tractors back in the day.